Chevy here with Crossbow Warriors and over the last couple years we do a lot of product testing for many different types of products in the crossbow world and one of the ones that we've uh, found that you know is the most important piece of equipment at least for me personally uh, is your broadheads. Uh, we learned that the hard way. Um, we were doing some product testing for a manufacturer and we went up to a bear hunt up in Ontario and we actually got three shots on kill on bears. Uh, they were ethical shots. They should have dropped the bear, no problem. But two of the three in, we ended up not finding. You know, they had a decent blood trail. One of them had a really good blood trail, but for some reason we just couldn't find the uh, find the bears at the end of the trail. Um, after that hunt, it was really discouraging, uh, especially because we worked with the manufacturer prior to. We told them we were having some issues with the broadhead. They sent us some new ones. They said they fixed it and made some tweaks, but uh, obviously they didn't. Uh, we had flight problems with them. Um, so, you know, then I started talking some of my um, pro staff we have and one of the things that the broadheads that they highly recommended um, is the Ramcat broadheads and I tell you since switching uh, to these Ramcat broadheads it's all I shoot and my pro staff all shoot it um, we've, we've dropped well over 20 animals with it um, from bear deer turkey I mean it, it's been incredible we've never lost an animal we've never wounded an animal that we couldn't recover um, that speaks for itself for me um, the cool thing about it is as well is that it's a basically a fixed blade broadhead yes the blades do move on it but the only time that they move is if they go into the animal and you don't get a pass-through and the blade starts to go backwards it's called the back cut technology right so the blades will fold forward all three of them will go forward um, and they're sharp on the back side so what that allows it to do is as the animals going or running walking whatever it's doing as it's going away um, the blades cutting on both sides it doesn't matter which angle the blade is facing it's going to still cut that animal in, in you know keep doing an ethical kill on it faster um, we've had like I said we've had a hundred percent penetration on these though too so we've never had to worry about that yet um, I tell you we just got back from uh, Valdor Quebec up at Northern Outfitters and I'll let you see the last four hunts so we got four really good hunts on film um, we'll do actual kill shots here so you can just see the four kill shots and see what's happened with these but I tell you um, these are the broadheads that I'll be sticking with there's you know I'll continue to test other ones but when I go out in my quiver definitely going to have the ram cats with me they come in three packs um, 100 grain 125 grain we shoot the 100 grains out of our crossbows here um, but one thing you'll notice too is they, they don't have a, a practice tip with them but what we do is you know just get an extra pack of uh, blades for them and all it takes is a little allen wrench just screw them out put a new set on super simple so that way you're actually shooting with the broadhead you're going to shoot with minus the the new the newer blades on it um, telling you though if you, you go switch to these bram cats you're not going to go wrong make sure you check them out there's something i highly recommend you know uh, you, you won't go wrong
On that last shot, it looks like the arrow actually didn't penetrate all the way through, but it did. Um, it was kind of neat the way the bear was angled. His actual hind leg was twisted around behind him, and when the arrow came through, it went through the rib cage, out the other side, and actually caught in his rear hind leg as it was kind of cocked up behind him when he was down on the ground. Um, the cool thing about that is, and you'll see a picture here in one second, the broadhead actually went in four inches of bone on its exit, okay? Caught it in the rear hind leg, and actually the tip of it was coming out of the other side of the bone. You're gonna see this, it broke off about this far into it. Super impressive, man. These broadheads are definitely second to none. You need to check them out.